What's going on, everybody? I have a little bit of free time. I'm sitting in a hotel room right now, far, far away from home, and I thought that I would walk you through how to make one of my presets. And uh, the preset we're going to do tonight is uh, my Silver Queen preset. So if you open up Lightroom and you can follow along and you can make a few um, tweaks if you will, make it your own, but I'm going to basically give you like the basis of how I made uh, my Silver Queen preset. Um, just to give you a quick example of what the preset looks like, here's a couple example photos. And so you'll see that I applied um, the Silver Queen preset to um, all of these, just to kind of give you a before and after. To see what the preset looks like. So if you're interested, let's get to it. And uh, this should only take a couple minutes. Uh, before we get started, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. I will be trying to make videos weekly. And I'll also have a street series coming out uh, where you'll go behind the scenes with me um, shooting street photography. Um, so please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps the YouTube algorithm and it helps me keep making awesome content or at least mediocre content. So thank you so much and let's get into it. Uh, first thing is we're not going to adjust the exposure and we're not going to adjust the white balance. So we're going to leave it as shot as you shot it out of your camera. So the first thing we're going to do is just turn up the contrast to about 40%. We're going to bring our highlights down 50. As you know, I typically edit if you follow me on Instagram at Mr. Brian James, you'll know that I usually edit um, kind of dark, kind of dark and moody. Shadows, we're going to bring up to 40%. Uh, 41% is fine, whatever. Whites, we're going to bring down again to, let's go pretty far, about 70% or so. And then blacks, we're going to bring up to about, uh, about halfway. Let's go to 50. We're gonna go down here to the tone curve. We're gonna just maybe bring up the highlights, or excuse me, the shadows, to about here, and we're gonna create a gradual. We're gonna create a gradual curve, kind of dark here, and then bring it up. And this will vary just a little bit based on the photo that you're using. But the cool thing about presets is. You can modify the preset to match the photo that you've taken. Um, so this isn't an absolute by any means. This is maybe just a starting point for you. So try to get your, actually let's bring this up a little bit more. Try to get your curve to look something like this. I'll give you a moment just to uh, try to adjust. I usually use about three points, or well three points or five points if, you, if you're looking at the outside. Um, all right, let's go to let's go down here to the hue saturation luminance tab. We'll go to the red, and the first thing, if I remember correctly, is we're gonna go minus ten on the oranges. There, we're gonna take down the yellows all the way. We're gonna go minus one hundred, and then in the saturation tab. We're going to go again, minus 10 on the orange, approximately. And we're going to leave red, we're going to leave the red slider where it is. And we're going to take everything else all the way down to 100. So yellow, green, aqua, blue, purple, and magenta. So what that does is it strips a lot of the color out of the photos. So I'm, I'm doing this strategically to just kind of highlight certain colors. Although I don't like selective color edits per se. Um, well, you'll see. I think this is pretty cool. So under Luminance tab, we're going to bring the red up. As you can see, we are highlighting the red. We're going to bring orange up just a little bit, maybe to 20-ish. And then yellow about... 50%. Let's go for it. Alright. Uh, let's go to 
to highlights. Take your hue saturation, excuse me, your hue slider to 226. And if you want to be unique, you can just play with this a little bit. And you don't have to go exactly to 226. But, um, and then for our shadows, we're going to take it to 216. And so there's not a huge difference in these in, in the highlights and shadows, but it but it's subtle. Um, and then let's maybe bring our saturation up just a little bit. And let's do eight. So you see the difference. It's subtle, but you can see the difference when I do my split tone. See? Split toning off, split toning on. Got it. Got it. Good. Let's go back up to texture. Um, texture is a, if you have the latest version of Lightroom, uh, this is a new slider. It's been out for a while. I'll just bring this up to like 16. This will just add kind of like a touch of grittiness to the photo. Um, clarity, we're going to bring up to about 40, which is a little high, but this isn't, that can be adjusted. This isn't necessarily something I would use for portraits. If you want that softer look, um, then you wouldn't want to dial that down. But again, that depends on the photograph that you're editing. Um, Dehaze, I had around, say, 12%. Vibrance, we're going to bring up. Make that photo pop about 40%, or to 40. And let's bring down the saturation. Let's say minus 20. Yeah. Do, 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 do. do we want a little vignette? We could do a little vignette. Maybe 10. What do you think? 10%, 8%, somewhere in there. Yeah, there you go. What do you think? That is my Silver Queen preset. So basically you can um, go ahead and just save that um, now over on the left side. You would go to here, hit the plus button, create preset, and then you would call it whatever you like, and then hit create. And it's that simple, folks. So if we just want to do a real quick before and after, this was our before, and this is our after. Well, I hope you got some value out of this video. If you did like it, please, again, leave me a thumbs up. Um, I'd love to hear from you in the comments if you have any suggestions, if you have any questions, if there's other presets that you would like to see, if you'd like anything explained, split toning, yada, yada, yada. Uh, if you do end up making this preset and you use it uh, perhaps on Instagram, please go ahead and tag me or leave me in the comments. Let me know that you used it. And... Um, Maybe I'll give you a shout out um, on Instagram or on YouTube. Thank you so much for joining me. And as always, I am Mr. Brian James. Have a good night.